made in Hollywood. Based on an incredible true story, two European soldiers go behind enemy lines in order to assassinate a Nazi general in the historical thriller Anthropoid. Hi, I'm Jamie Dornan. Uh, you're watching Made in Hollywood, and there's a scene from Anthropoid. Hello. Hello. Please sit down. You are the most beautiful women in the room, but you fail to understand this. This is not a night off for us. So you get noticed. And that gets us noticed. And us being noticed gets us all shot. We throw around the word hero a lot, but these two guys that you guys are playing, I think they really deserve that title of hero. Is that how you approach them and kind of taking on these roles? Historically, what happened was, you know, Czechoslovakia at the time was occupied by the Third Reich, by the, you know, by the Nazis. What is your mission? Operation Anthropoid. What is? Anthropoid. We are here to assassinate Reinhard Heydrich. He was the architect of the final solution. We found this post-war, but he was the one that had sort of put together the plan to exterminate 11 million European Jews. And it's kind of this extraordinary mission impossible in the truest sense. And so they had to sort of assimilate it into society and kind of plan the mission. And then the repercussions of what happened created a massive world awareness of what was going on in Czechoslovakia at the time and it caused the Munich agreement to be uh, reverted and Winston Churchill then counted Czechoslovakia as, a, as an ally. The question we have to ask ourselves is this, is our country ready and willing to resist Nazi Germany? And you're also writer, director, producer, director of photography, and I this, made the sandwiches for lunch. <laughs> catering. Yeah, catering. So this is like a 15-year journey. Why so important to you? I don't know. I think, um, you know, I was always told at school that I did well if I was interested in the subject. And I kind of sort of live by that in a weird way. I don't do my best work unless I'm really interested in the subject. So I have to find stuff that I'm really, really passionate about. It really felt that we, the three of us, you know, Sean, Jamie and I were like really kind of in it together. You know, it's, a, it's difficult when a director is miles away behind a monitor. And the thing about Charlie was he was never over there. He was always like <laughs> right with there. us, yeah, you yeah. know. He's, so the camera was here and he's just like giving you notes, you know. Gentlemen, this operation will involve almost everyone we have left in the resistance. They're heroes, I think, in, in the truest sense in that they are very relatable heroes. They're normal men who were thrust into a very abnormal situation. And I feel that their response to being in that situation was very human and very relatable to, I mean, particularly my character, who struggled with anxiety and, and panic. 30 seconds would be all we need. We still need more than 30 seconds to escape from here. It would not be my first choice. And it was our only choice. As much as I'd like to think I'd be all heroic and manly about it, I'd probably be exactly the same. But I've always just found it heroic in the truest sense in that they're not Superheroes, they are just real men, and that and that makes them more heroic, in my, in mm -hmm. my opinion. If we fail, I fear freedom will be wiped from the map. 